Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. My name is Casey and I'm going to take you through how to manipulate the design to come up with good looking, well done designs. In this tutorial, I'm going to use text on this feature here called offset and also modifier, the modifier window. Now, this is Silhouette Studio Design Edition, January 2015. So this is quite a latest update of this program. So quickly to start with, I'm going to type in text. And I'm going to use that. I'll just do type different texts. Uh, that is black, red, and green. Now, what I'm going to do with this is that I am going to make these texts somehow overlap each other, but at the same time keeping the design in place. So I'm going to change the text here to impact. Uh, okay, and I'm going to pull them across just to enlarge. So now this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this somewhere here, for example here, and I'm going to put this to this location here. The main idea is to have, first of all, uh, a different background. And in this tutorial, you'll see the end result of exactly what I'm trying to achieve. Now, quickly, going forward, I'm going to click on the first text, going to offset. Now, offset, I'm going to use uh, of 0 0.05. And I'll just zoom so that you can see what's going on. Okay, that is an offset of 0 0.05. My agenda here is to make sure that this red text here reveals the black text. But let me let me show you before we move on. So I'm going to put it somewhere to that location. Now I'm going to take this the rectangle tool and I'm going to pull across to this location approximately there. Go back to select selection tool. Uh, click on to that. I want to adjust it slightly on top up to this level. Okay. Now, what I'm trying to achieve with this is I'm trying to chop off this to give some room for the red text to slide in under the, the letters A C K. And I'm going to hold that on this, and I'm going to click on modify and click subtract so immediately you will see that uh, the, the, the letters have been chopped from what the tangle that I've used and this red is now slightly I'm trying to make sure that it looks almost the same size with the offset that I've done in the block so that's the starting point okay now here I'm going also to do the same for uh, for the red text. I'm going to, to do an offset and I'm going to pull it with the same so that it looks uniform. I'm going to give it 0 0.05 inches. So I think it looks kind of small. This to 0.05. How I want to achieve it, but I'm going to undo again. Okay, I'm going to leave it to that point. Uh, I think 0 0.09. I just want to give it a slightly kind of uh, the same uh, distance with this and the other because the texts are different so I'm going to select this uh, and this now watch carefully what is going to happen to this select this the opposite of this I'm going to hold shift on this okay 
then I'm going to add this plus base. Now, what I'm trying to achieve here, I'm going, I'm trying to connect to the offset that I've done for the red and the black text. And the black text, I'm going to weld them. Okay. Now, once I weld the text, you'll find that now it's continuous. It's not like now going down or inside this. Uh, the letters that I chopped off. And this is the same thing that I'll apply uh, to the green text. Okay, I'll select that. Okay, I'm going to slide to slide it down slightly so that when it cuts the red, uh, it stays. It leaves some kind of uh, an E so that E doesn't look as an F. So I'm going to pull it, pull another rectangle here. And okay, let me just go back to selection tool and pull it up to this place so that it looks as if it's uh, the E still has still has an extension up to this there up to this location. Okay, and from the point here, I'm going to pull the D so that it cuts out the D. So from here. And this and this text I'm going to also subtract so now you can see the E has been subtracted from this part okay I'll handle this separately so don't worry about this uh, stuff that is hanging out that has been left out I'll take care of that shortly I'm also going to uh, offset this and uh, I'm going to do to it to I think uh, point up to I think I was at point zero nine and eight I think yep okay I leave it that point now here I want to do two things first of all I want to make sure that uh, this doesn't give uh, these gaps as you can see the, the, the I want the top the top text the top part of this text to be flat so I'm going to pull a rectangle from this point here and I'll give up to this point here okay so that the top part of this text is now flat now what I'm going to what I'm going to do here I'm going to Click on that, uh, this one and this, and I'm again I'm going to weld. So now you can see the top part of this text. Okay, there's a slight um, extension here, which for the purpose of this tutorial, I'll leave it. If you have time, you can correct this. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going, I'm going to slide it. Okay, sorry, I'm, suppo I'm supposed to uh, do. Okay, I'm going to select the two, uh, the green text, let me just put the green text here, right there, and I'm going to click on this, and click on this, remind you, I'm clicking on the offsets, not the text, so I'm going to weld, so once I click that, you'll find that the text has been selected and everything is now uh, has a, like a bounding box. Okay, now uh, you can see there's a small defect here with the rectangle that I did. As I said, you can perfect use. Now you can still modify this if you so wish. You can still add uh, another rectangle here and it extends. So you can play around with that. Now I'm going to remove this uh, this extension here that you see. Okay, now what I'll do, I'm going to add another example here at this point. Okay, click on that and this, then I'm going to weld. So all those pieces have disappeared. Now, let me just color out. Oh, I think I made a mistake here. The K was uh, the K was chopped off, so let me make this correction here quickly because I don't know how to do it to extend it to this position. My my intention is to get this, 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 and this. 
so I'm going to click also to the offset and weight so now I have this clean uh, design that is nicely done so I'm going to click on the offset here I'm going to give it some colors I'm going to give it a slight gray and you can right click here and send back okay now I have to click, to click on to um, this other text here let's, let's see how I work I'm going to click on that I need to pick A I need to pick C including uh, this and uh, this so I'm going to give this a black color oh, okay now we can group this control G so it becomes as one I'm going to pick red as well please be careful when you're selecting this you really have to make sure that uh, you don't uh, pick other places so I'm going to pick red there you go and somewhere somehow we have uh, this green this green I think I want to take something a bit slightly darker because the ones are the ones that are over here uh, there you go so this is the tutorial that I wanted to show you on how we can manipulate text and for the for those who want to cut this because I've seen some of the tutorials people have been told you have to select I don't know uh, with the latest design edition when you go to cut settings you can click advanced settings and you can pick on the colors so if you want to if you want to cut a specific color let's say green this is the color you select and you can click on it and you cut it once you're done with that go to black do the same once you're done with that go to the silver or gray do the same and finish up with the red so that is my tutorial please send comments or ask questions if you need any clarification from this tutorial i feel like this was important because i've seen uh, most people in um, in this kind of uh, production they are really struggling to have the manipulations so this is one of your tutorials that can help you learn and use some of these uh, features that are available in the silhouette design edition so thank you so much and i will be posting more videos on this countries thank you for creating the channel